welcome back. <laughs> She's been gone for 30 years! Wait a minute. If she, if she disappeared for 30 years and was four, and wait, it was 18, 14 years ago, she didn't escape when she was two! Game! Game, you, you can't even math! You're, you're, you're flubbing your math right now! Oh my god, the, 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 oh, the tenses, the, the timelines, my head is exploding, or imploding, I can't even remember at this point, I can't even tell, I'm too distracted by chicken head's alfalfa hair lick. <laughs> also, I guess, who is this? <laughs> like, I know his name is Marks, so that's all I've got. Is, he kind his hair makes him kind of make me think of a toad from the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> and then we all shared a very awkward stare. A couple of graves, I guess. Where do they both look like? All right, if we just sit here long enough, will he remember what we're doing? <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I didn't have to walk too far, because I am sick of walking. I mean, look, I get you think you're 14, Mr. Out of Work 22 year old actor. But you did meet her 14 years ago. As far as the handshake across the table, you're not budging right at your edge. I gotta do a lot of reaching for you. Why don't you just accept that you're not 14? Like, you might be, but it's not what, it's not what you think it is. What? Me being me, of course, I didn't lose it all. Ah, what can I say? Fucking dick-swinging cowboy over here. Sometimes you just get tired of being too awesome. Yeah, one day we went out. I was just out there being amazing as usual. <laughs> what can I say? It's rough being the best every day and night. So this is a flashback. Okay. It's gotta be. Okay. Also, so I guess she's a zombie yeah. now, too? <laughs> also, I'd like to just imagine even the main character kid is just like, Wow, 14? I'm not even 14! Everybody's just like, Really? What? <laughs> She woke up in a cave, and then you said, you're joining us? And then she said, I ah, guess. And that's how she joined the clan. <laughs> After a while, when you don't have real food for long enough, you'll start to eat some pretty disgusting garbage. <laughs> One night, we start, we snuck into this old dude's house, and we, like, took the lid off the toilet tank, and we upper-decked the shit out of it. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, to be 14 again. Oh! <laughs> Are we really doing this? Yeah. I'm gonna glue the ashtray to the wall, so every time... He like goes to put a cigarette out. He's gonna get ash. He's gonna get ashes on his carpet. <laughs> oh, we're just a bunch of skeebers. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna take his Oreos and I'm gonna scrape the delicious filling out. And then I'm gonna put toothpaste in them. That's too far. You're out of the gang. Anyway, Larry, you're gonna put mustard in all of his bed sheets, and he's gonna you're gonna turn his bed into a sandwich. Yeah. Oh yeah, I am. See. Gary's got the right plan, or Larry, or whatever name I came up with. The, the Aries, Gary, Larry, and Barry, those three guys over there, they are the skeevers. Of course he doesn't remember you, are you kidding me? That's the same frog-faced dude who realized how to win a magic fight. With a knife! 
Did she die or didn't she? I mean, they kind of cut the flag and she was just in a desert. <laughs> hey, quit fucking around. We're here to do pranks. I like that he seems more troubled by me being a thief than her being like a zombie that wants him dead. And I ended up at that dungeon. But does, did something happen in your time frame that would have knocked you out? Or did, like, did you get Gilligan with a coconut out of nowhere? You didn't ever question that you were just like, fine, and then woke up, and then you're like, nah, that must be fine, I guess. Just me, the narcoleptic of the group, dozing out out of nowhere. No worries, there's plenty of knights responding. We just want to throw you guys in for kicks. We have this weird feeling like you need to go fight something, like it's been a lot of exposition. There's like a game happening somewhere. Wait, what? Oh, don't be a dick bag. Come on. <laughs> you guys go ahead. I'm gonna keep looking for somebody. Well, do you know where she is? Nah! Why don't you come with us anyway, then? That's a good idea, but I'll be honest. You need a little bit of challenge in your life. Oh, that's nice. He's like, what? He says, when are we friends? Eh, fine. I'll take your little jack in the box. I swear if there's an engagement ring in here, I'm going to be peeved. <laughs> oh wait, no, so you are part of our team. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I don't know, I, I don't know why. I, I, I just remember the time I like beat the shit out of you out of nowhere in a dungeon or something. No, in the forest. So it made me think maybe we weren't friends, but I guess we're okay. We seem, I seem to be best friends with everybody whose ass I kick. Best friends with all the random fuckos I beat up. That's how you get a bunch of buddies in your life. So, yeah, there were plenty of knights in the area, but I'm going to send... Like, I'm going to send Exposition Girl and Kid With No Magic to a magic fight. Heads up. I'm out. Ha! Ah. Bait and switch, motherfuckers! Boom, boom, boom! Ow! Okay, that hurt. God damn it, I hate getting hit with ranged attacks. I don't have magic! Maybe you've all remembered that. All I have is this weird hurricane slash that isn't magic, I've been told. Hello. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. Oh shit. Oh, that's a lot of mooks. You have no name, but your story will be heard when you kill the kid with no magic. That'll make you a big man. Oh, okay, that was a royal mage squad, I guess. Wait, royal? Are we not supposed to be killing these guys? Because that sounds like there's a legit, like, king behind them. Are, I, again, I'm so in the dark with the story of Black Clover. Are they at war? Is that part of it? I mean, you kind of just assume with knights... High, like, high fantasy knights. You fight Crikey Switch Wahey. But I don't really have all the pieces of this puzzle. I also don't have any way to fight range guys effectively. Dicks? I mean, yes, I have a block, but... I mean, look at me. Do I have a block? 
I could like shuffle around like the heavy from Team Fortress. That's really threatening. It's like when you see a friendly Hoovy and he's just got his mittens out or a sandwich and you snipe him like a dick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hi. I'm blocking. That's helping in some way, right? Oh, cool. I forgot. I have, I have my magic scream of the gods. Where are... I don't fully understand how this works. I guess the triangle is just like a dash move or something. Oh, come on with this. I can stop being the target, yeah? That'd be cool. Oh, trust me, father. You're not the only one hating some shit right now. Would you really? You get a dragon or something? Get down here, you sack of crap. God, this is annoying. Oh my god, come on with this. All I can do is keep blocking, because you gave me this fucking runt with no magic! Oh, I do have a dodge, I guess. Whoa, I have a dodge! I didn't know that. Where is the fight? Ah. There! Ah! You walked into my big paddle. I appreciate it. That was obnoxious. Oh, well, that's mean. I mean, I guess when your title is the hateful, you probably want to kill a lot of people. You broke the magic rock! Yeah, I'll bite. What did she do? Is that rock important? It had a bunch of doodles all over it. No, not the mana. Is that bad? Game, I need... I need something to go off of here! All I have is the meaning of friendship! Oh, it's purple now. Did, was the rock the LED control switch that made it go from being, like, multicolored to just hard purple? I'll be honest, when you dedicate this heart to one color, it gets a little... A little hard to look at from room to room. You evil fiend! This was your plan all along. Thanks, Han. <laughs> I know it's probably Veto, but I saw Veto and I'm like, oh no! He's gonna overrule one of us by default in the vote. Oh, also, somebody, um... Maybe, I don't know, educate me. Is Black Clover like a hyper-violent show? Like, like my favorite anime uh, for the last few years has been Bakano, and it's like mind-blowingly violent. But if you were to make a game out of it, you'd be there'd be no way to make a game that's like T for teen without keep, without taking something away from the story. As far as I can remember, this game is like a T game rated game is black clover like mindlessly violent or is this is this about on par i don't know i see it like when somebody gets like mummy bandaged like that i assume it's kind of like violent but for the kids because i don't know when the when he's just like i chewed those guys up and spit them out i'm like he's got shark teeth did that really happen did he like eat three guys <gasps> They're friends! That's what the power of friendship is! Oh! Yeah, who needs him? Let's check my cell phone. <laughs> I'm gonna play Bejeweled for a while. Oh, cool. Thanks. Whoa. Those are some fuzzy forearms, bud. Did you sculpt your arm hair? I mean, that's fine, I guess. I just, I never thought to do that. Just go 
Well, this is still kind of fuzzy. Like, yeah, this... No! I left my phone at the stump! Oh, jeez. Now I have to call my provider and get a certified like new replacement cell phone jewel in a box. Whoa, his book is edgy. Mm. Yeah, I didn't want to fight him or anything. Uh... I'm glad all this is done in cutscene. He looked like a really fun fight. Yeah. Something like melee focused that I could handle. Oh, now I'm gonna fight him. Oh, you tricky dicky game. You, oh, yeah, you're wacky. So it's funny, that first fight in the game really kind of didn't, uh, really show that the game was like, I mean, I guess it is, but also at the same time, it's not. I feel like I, I wasn't really like, the, like, so far my favorite part has been the team fights. Just having a dodge feels so good. I genuinely just feel safer with a dodge. Oh, no. Damn it. That, that thing with the R1 is actually really hard to time. Also, I can't tell if it's a smart thing to do or not. Is there any reason to not just let my teammates do this? Ow! Fuck a duck. Ow! Because on top of everything, my teammates are just more maneuverable than I am. The combat in this is a little... Whoa, whoa, jeez. Ah. Get out of there. Go away, Mr. Big Boy. Ah, I knew it was going to be a cool fight. He actually melees me, and I can melee him back. Because I'm a melee boy. I got swords and no magic. You, f you dig down, motherfucker. Oh, jeez, I'm... Getting, I'm the one getting double dick. Oh wait, I, I have grumpy mode. Eat shat. Eat a big, big jar of shat. I don't know how many times you went grumpy. I don't know what your grumpy is versus my grumpy, but I went egg a grumpy. Oh oh. He wasn't serious, even with his fuzzy, uh, treasure trail down to his nethers. You've got- oh, okay, his ultimate form is just a third eye? And like, still a weird treasure trail down to his bits? I'm sorry, that is an arrow, point- and hair, pointing down to his dick. Stop breaking my rocks! Why do you keep doing that? Also, don't you only have half the rock? Don't you need the whole thing? That would be like if you went, you had to steal a mystical tome and you like ripped it straight down the middle. You're like, there we go. I've got most of the tome now. Or do they, do they need the rock or are they just here to break it? This game's not very clear about what they need to do. Well, either way, I got 3,000 friendships. <gasps> poop it! Dude, but it's gonna make me that poop it! Even in the chilliest areas of town. It's very cold here to be wearing just a Duke Nukem single. Yami, you're gonna have some perky nips in the cold like this. Your chest is going to be pointier than the set of Friends. Seriously, if you ever watch old episodes of Friends, you can tell that they kept that stage a brisk 40-something degrees. I'm just saying there's a bit of nip pokage in that show. Ah, oh no! Bam! Who needs magic? I have two swords. 
and very uncomfortable looking culottes. Get some longer pants, man. You're in the Arctic or something. We're gonna go and fight where there are ice cubes. Ice cubes. We're gonna go where it's really, really chilly like friends. The power of friends! So. Yeah, I don't know if I'm getting like a Cliff's Notes for. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Two guys with magic. Ow! Oh, booty butt cheeks. Ha! Take that! You're a sad boy, and I'm gonna make you sadder. Ow, 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 stop it! Stop that! That kinda homes in a little bit, but like, I would wish it would- oh, fuck me. I wish it would home in a little more. Oh my god. So, so far I'm also getting a bit of a Twisted Metal vibe in that I am the target of everybody in this fight. I have teammates, you know. They're totally open to hit. Stop targeting just me. I need to like, I need to halo shield up. Man, you know, it is an absolute fuck to be fighting people with magic when I don't have magic. Because out of nowhere, you just get hit with tornadoes and shit. Like, that's some horse shit. Are, are they being summoned on top of me? I think so. Oh my god. This is like the second fight that I've had to do against purely ranged characters. And it genuinely sucks when I have to fight fuckers like this. Especially when I literally got booped in the air. I don't know what happened there. There! Fuck off! Get out of here! You're dead now! And it's funny because you're a jerk! Where is the opponent? I can't even tell. Oh, hello! You can just eat big old pile of butts! So, when that R1 comes up, if you were in the middle of doing anything else, you're just SOL. I kind of want the R1 to override whatever you're doing. <laughs> Hi, I know. Fufufu, you're evil. I can tell. Nobody says Fufufu if they're the good guy. And you broke my magic rock again. Am I not allowed to have nice things? <laughs> Do you, can I help you? Wait a minute, was I fighting those two guys? I was! Oh! Okay, then... The apologies for just being a little out to lunch. I don't know any of these guys, uh, just at a glance. I guess I should have noticed that both main character boy and saddest boy in the world have their hair, like, bird wings in front of their face. Ah! I'm the good boy, so I have the blonde wings in front of my face. I'm the bad boy, so I have black wings. Oh, that's inconvenient. So, so, so who do I ask out on a date? The girl or the dad? Because I kind of dig her attitude, you know? Also, is it just me or does the Frieza state sound like they keep the AC brisk? It's probably cold in that house. They got like a swamp cooler, an open fridge, uh, like an ice bucket. That place is chilly. No? Nani? <laughs> they owned it to a certain. Oh, they owed it. I was. I thought it was gonna be like they owned it to a certain extent. You know, 
gubernatorial loopholes and Legal whatnot, jibber jabber. Dotsira no yega ueka doka. Koremomata, meo needs Nagaru Hijoni, Juyo. Yeah, it's a little important. You know, it's a little kind of. Chikarade. Maybe kind of. Quit the double talk and just. The Gaman de Kizokua in I. Ja, Yapari. Yes, you knew, you get it. They really were. Cardies. Other nobles who stooped to using a knife. Uh, is magic a sign of like nobility? Because the knights can use magic, but I guess some people can't use magic. Are you just a carny if you did if you can't do magic? Are you just like a, like a, just a traveling nomad? Stabbing people with your toothbrush shiv? Out to collect their boots and whatever change they got in their pocket. It's a safe bed. I agree. Does the lunar? I, I like. It's a safe bed. The lunar eclipse will start soon. Those are probably related, says. But the main character kid looks very lost. So he's just kind of like that. Sounds almost relevant. Yeah, no, and out, wait a minute. Let me down, King Magoo. Oh, man. And with that one, I think we're going to go ahead and call that an episode. Knock down two poopits. And we learned the power of friendship. Ah, you're having a good time. All right. I'll catch everybody on the next one. Laters.